Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Before I actually get into today's video, I actually have just finished editing the vast majority of it. It's now 11.38 p.m. the night before, so I still haven't even rendered it because I want to edit this into the video. And I wanted to actually just talk about this mod that we're going to be covering today for a second. Now you can see on my screen, it's called the Stanley Paradox. It's based on the Stanley Parable. I explained that a little bit at the start of the video. But what's shocking to me, and as I went through the edit of this video, is this is really high quality stuff and I guess I didn't appreciate it as much when I was playing through it because when I'm going through the edit and I'm listening to a lot of the dialogue and the voice acting and the writing, it was really, really good. And when I go to the mod page, it only has 7,394 total downloads, 4,879 unique downloads. In terms of Skyrim mods that I've looked at and especially even covered on the channel, isn't a whole lot. It's not even on Special Edition, it's only on the Legacy Edition. But man, this was a interesting, deep, kind of all over the place and, and really surprising. I thought this was going to be cashed in and I thought it was going to be goofy when I went into it and I had fun with it. There's a mystery there. There's still some questions that I have. I answered some questions of my own as I went through the edit and it kind of just started to unravel. So I hope you guys have as much fun with this as I did. You know, leave any predictions that you have down below or any theories that you have of what's actually going on because this is a really, really cool mod and it's one of the coolest Skyrim mods I've ever played and I can't believe I've never seen anybody talk about it. I don't even remember how I found it. I lucked into it. It came out in 2015 created by iCodosaurus. This is awesome. You guys did great work and if a hundred people see this video, then check this mod out. And if a million people see this video, which is a shot in the dark for a Skyrim mod video in 2021, give this mod a try because it's pretty special. So a long time ago, back on Steam, there was this indie game that came out called The Stanley Parable. I think it was based on Half-Life. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me in the comments. Really enjoyed it. I remember playing it way back. I loved making all the just the wrong decisions and going through it. Well, somebody actually made their own version called The Stanley Paradox and they made it as a Skyrim mod. I assume that the mod is working because this scroll right here is how we actually started. Yes, we did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Is that the same voice actor? It's a nice little place. The frame rate's taking a dive because of how large this place is. Welcome, Stanley. That's me. I'm Stanley. Hello, Stanley. Oh, my face came as covering it. Your quest is to find as many endings as you possibly can. Oh, isn't this fun? Good luck. Just adventure in this hallway to begin, okay? So I'm just supposed to explore this hallway. Hold on, there's there's a lot here. Gotta make sure I take the cheese wheels. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I don't know where my boss's office is. Is it up here? Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Oh, well, if he feels happy, I'm definitely doing the opposite. What do we got here? Buy quarterly, post review. It's a cheese wheel. It's a cheese wheel. Solved it. Yeah, no, nope, that's... Coming I, to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I don't see the staircase. Oh, there it is. No, no, we just started off. I'm not playing along. We just started. Now, how did you manage that? Are you really trapped in here? Oh. I'm actually quite impressed. I don't think there's a simpler puzzle out there, and you've still broken it. <laughs> look, so, look, look okay. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? It's a part of the experience, right? Well, in the meantime, if you do happen to have a... If I... Whoa. What the fuck, dude? Oh, come on, I wasn't ready for a scary game, Mr. Narrator? Hello? <laughs> Senpai? Oh, door. Are you kidding me? It's like that one door in Fallout 3 that just tells you to fuck off when you open it. Did I lose? Is the game over? Is that a car? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. 
I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yeah! Congratulations! Yeah! That's what I'm talking you about. Really a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. No. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care. I want to go out there, though, dude. I have to restart. No! No, I already lost? Come on, let me go out there, bro. Be a bro? Be- Not a bro, what a douche. Okay, alright. Attempt number one was a complete failure. We got locked in a closet and we lost. What the fu- What is this? Okay. Hey, everyone. There's a party at my house, but none of you is invited. Oh, Billy, you're invited, okay? Bring your talking turtle. You got Kelly, whose profile picture is from Portal. What's her name? Gladys? Is that her name? Gladys from Portal? And then Christy, who has their waifu, <laughs> their queen waifu. Heavy from Team Fortress? Oh, there's too many- There's- there's- there's too many Valve property jokes in this. I don't get them. I was having a good time. I wanted to go explore what the car was doing over there. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. You hear that, guys? Hey, hey, before you finish writing that comment, make sure you're telling the truth. 2 plus 4 squared divided by 541 minus 78 equals fish. Okay, now I actually need somebody in the comments to prove this math problem. Right now. First one to get it, uh, gets nothing. But... I will heart your comment, if you solve that math problem. Who's that? Okay, yes, this is new, this is different. Surely there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, like, um, how about this cup? Yes, go pick up the cup. The what? Oh, the cup, I thought he said carp. He's talking about this one? Stanley? Wait, that's me. What cup am I? Is that the cup he wants me to pick up? Bro, which cup? Come on. <sighs> I'm not good at puzzles, man. So when you throw a puzzle at me like this... All right, now put it in, um, the garbage bin. All right, easy enough. I assume it's this little basket in the corner. Wait, wait. I can't activate my inventory, so how the hell am I supposed to do... Oh, I was supposed to pick it up. Like, actually, like, physically move it. Instead of placed them in my inventory, which I can't access, so I think I lose. All of his co-workers were gone. What the... <clears throat> All of my coworkers were gone. What? Finish what you were gonna say. Okay, tips for not getting fired. Talk less. I struggle with that. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition. I'm not good at any of these things. And don't get fired, okay? I did get fired from Jimmy John's when I was in high school. Fun fact. Is that a puzzle? You hear that? Alright, there's gotta be something else. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Well, I made it through. It's kind of creepy in here, though. I'm not going to lie. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. No, it's not an ending. Look over here. It's over here. There's a way to escape. Look in Stanley's office. Here's a key. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Wait, did I already beat the game? Okay, I'm going to get back to my office. Hopefully the narrator doesn't kill me sometime soon. He seems like a nice guy, though. I'm not gonna lie. He seems pretty chill. I think my office is actually upstairs. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I can't see it. <laughs> Aerator, you're blocking me off. Let me move. Okay, so there's no one in my manager's office. I assume I gotta get into this vault? Oh, does he- oh, is this a password? Do you want to play a game, Stanley? Let's find the missing party on the fourth floor. But party, but fourth is slashed and covering book, shovel. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be no. doing right now? No. Okay, on the fourth floor, there's a party. But does that mean fourth book? Someone help me out here, man. I'm lost. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I think maybe my co-workers are all at a party without me and... You know, maybe the invite- my invite's just like late or something, right? Like, there's no way they forgot to invite me. Unlock paradox requires key. I do have the key. Oh shit, I lost. 
I definitely lost. Okay, we'll just crouch under here. Okay, I'll just go through the fire. What does it matter? I'm probably invincible anyway. If this is the real ending, then that's pretty lame. Hallway? Oh. Oh, I thought it was just gonna keep going with doors. Wait a minute. I'm back in here now. It's just reset me. And I'm looking at the cheese. I haven't gotten a second ending, which I guess is a good sign. I haven't gotten killed off yet. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Okay, creepy. Creepy, dude. Would you just... Oh, just give me a hint. I don't think there's any other... Oh, wait, there's a tunnel right there. Open paradox? Oh, man. Are you shitting me? Oh, this is creepy. I'm like, wait for something to pop up. Uh, don't stop. Oh, God, people are screaming. I'm running. I'm running. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's dead bodies everywhere. Why did I come in here? Why did I come in here? Go. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up, crispy bacon? Chris, middle initial P, last name bacon. Isn't that funny, guys? Huh? Jump. Oh, no. Oh, it's a... Oh, God. It's like a puzzle to jump down here. Good thing I caught that. All right. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is everyone's first Minecraft base <laughs> right here. Oh, now it's upgraded a little bit. We got some storage, a bed, so we have a spawn point. What the hell is this? I hope I didn't miss anything in those rooms. So that opened me up in here now. Maybe something changed up here. <gasps> Elevator. I escaped the narrator. No, he didn't. Maybe he did. Yeah, what if he did? You guys are idiots. Nobody survives the narrator. But how do you know? Because I am the narrator. No, you're employee 401. I'm calling the elevator. Top floor, bottom floor. <gasps> Top floor. Gotta go to the fourth floor for that party, right? I think, I think the goal is to open up all the paradoxes. Paradoxy? Paradoxi? Paradoxicai? Paradoxin? Is it paradoxin? Is it like oxen? And boxin? There's just more paradoxin in this room. I guess we'll start with this one. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Go back? Whoa, dude. Hold on. You hurt me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? Yeah, okay, but dude, ships. This is cool. And it's Skyrim. I'm going in. It's not very often you get to be on this kind of a set piece in an Elder Scrolls game. Anyone home? There's got to be something here. <gasps> oh. Exactly, this is what I need. Top floor! Wait, no, that's just where I was before. But I'm still alive, so we'll check out the other paradox and... Okay. Oh, little puppy! Hi, boy! That one went back to the top floor. Am I doing this right? I really have no clue if I'm unraveling some mystery or if I'm aimlessly just going through doors. Okay, so I got all three of those. I'm gonna go back to the elevator and hit the bottom hatch. Oh, that didn't do anything. Book, shovel, car, Wheatley, layer. What does it mean? Already on the layer floor? Well, I guess I can take the elevator and go down. Okay, bottom floor looks fairly clear. More Stanley. Why is it always me that's dead? Huh? Oh, shit. That was creepy. Oh, no, here we go. I think I started the actual game. Now, listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah! Oh, that just made my day. All right, all right, I'll abide. I'll, I'll follow his... I'll follow him. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. 
Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. Go. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. I think I hit all the turn-off power buttons. Shut up, narrator. Shut the fuck up. I hit all your power up. Oh, oh, there's more. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Do no, I don't care about my co-workers. I just want to not lose. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in okay. this instance of Find the, the correct button. Sometimes Make sure it's correct. It, Check again. Follow steps one through three. Okay. Pushing buttons endlessly I think I hit all the buttons. I'm ignoring this prick of a narrator right now. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. No, screw you, dude. Only 34 seconds left. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. What button am I missing? I've got to be missing trees. one. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room, everything, anything. You're goddamn Something right, because I'm going to beat you, think. douche. Why would you think that, Stanley? Why did I go through the red door? I shouldn't have listened to this prick. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Would you or will you shut let it up? Go? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fight. Fuck this guy. I'm hitting the destroy Just button. Me. D am I doing this right? What? Okay, I've hit them all. I've hit all the buttons. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. <laughs> Don't take this from me. No! Suck it, narrator. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Oh, I shit. That was too much to ask. Oh, I actually did blow the place up. <laughs> like you to make Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh my god, I actually didn't win. Oh. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. I think I did it. Come on. Was it over? No. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's oh, command. Oh, I actually figured Freedom it out. Freedom was mere moments away. Yes! I knew it. And yet... I knew it. I'm a good gamer. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone None tell of that him makes any go, fucking sense to, to me, do, man. Or how to feel. I'm just happy that Whatever I did Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh no. I don't think I actually won. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely the catch them. Oh, it was the only a matter of time. What the fuck was that? Whoa. Why am I here? What? This just got so creepy. Whoa, that was weird. Come on, don't tell me I lose. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm going insane. I don't think I'm ever gonna beat this. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Who? If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. No problem, sweetie. <laughs> hi, hi, sisters. Okay, so the red door is closed. I'm going through the... Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. We've already gone through this before, though. I can't go through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, 
It's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Screw Why? your story, For dude. What? what did you get out of that? Well, I worked... It, no, I don't want to hear your complaints now. anymore. I worked my what ass am I supposed off, okay? To do? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That's why everyone around me who is Stanley was dead. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. Wait, that was the ending. I got that ending.